Hi, I'm George, and I'll be showing you how you can enrich the color in a picture by adding a gradient map onto the background. Now, this is very easy to do, just a few quick steps. But first, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button, click on subscribe, and take a look at my complete training course for Photoshop Elements. There's a link for that right down there in the description. It's the best way to learn how to use this program. Okay, I'm going to start off by just getting rid of everything in here except for the background layer. There we go, back to the original image. And I always start off by making a duplicate of the background just in case. We actually won't be touching it this time, but it's a good habit to have. Right click where it says background and duplicate layer, choose OK, then just hide the background and that's our safety. Okay, now we need to separate out the subject or foreground subject from the background and that's easy to do. I'll just go over here and grab the standard lasso tool. I have my feathering hair set at zero and it's set for a new selection. And we'll start up here and then just make a quick selection right around the figure. Doesn't need to be really close. Doesn't need to be really exact. We'll be fixing all of that in just a moment. So just come clear down around. On the bottom, you can be outside of your picture like that. It still works. And then up on the right hand side of the image here. Again, I'm not being really careful about this. And just go back and overlap your starting point. Now to convert this into a layer mask, we're going to go up to the select menu and come down to Refine Edge right here. There we go. Now in here, there's a lot of settings. I normally have my radius here set at one. It just helps a little bit. I'll leave everything else alone. Put that right here. And you can kind of see the brush size. There it is. But I'll zoom in here with the Zoom tool. Get a little bit closer on our edge. You can see that. There we go. Back to our brush tool right here. Here's that tool. So let's come in. I normally will come outside like this first, do one pass like that, and then come in and finish that off with a second pass right up against the edge. There we go. And I'll do this clear around the whole figure. And it goes really very fast. If you need to move your image, just hold the space bar down. You can then drag your image up. And if you see that hand, it means that I'm holding down the space bar. And I'll do that a couple of times in here. Okay, there we go. Just pull that straight down like that. Now, if it's a little bit light in here, it doesn't matter this time because we're using the exact same background. So if it's a little bit off on this, it's not going to show. So that makes this much faster. If you were changing the background, I'd spend a lot more time on this layer mask and do a really perfectly careful job. But in this case, it's just going to blend right in. So this is a very easy way to do this, very fast and easy. Now, surprisingly enough, I'm not really sure why, but the Refine Edge tool here in Photoshop Elements is much better than the same tool over inside of Photoshop. This does a better edge. It's a little bonus there if you have Elements as opposed to the full Photoshop program. Okay, there is our Refine Edge. Let's now go over here and Output to, see it right here, Output to, New Layer with the Layer Mask, and choose OK, and there it is. Here's our layer. Now, normally, again, if I was doing this and changing the background, I would go back in and be very careful about all this kind of foggy stuff in here. It doesn't matter this time. That's not even going to show. So we just leave that alone. Back to fit screen. There we go. And here's our background again. So we now have the foreground separated out from the background. I can show that to you if we just grab a paintbrush right here. And I'll change my foreground color to a bright red. And then if I just paint in like this, you can see how she's now in front of whatever happens on that background. And then there's controls you to get rid of that little demo. Okay, now we're going to be adding in a gradient map. We're adding it onto the duplicated background copy right here. So go up to layer, come down to new adjustment layer right here. And you want the gradient map. There it is. And where it says use previous layer, check that and choose OK. And it gives you a standard black to white gradient. Now on choosing your gradient, click in here. You can choose different gradients. The choice I'm making on this one, if I just hide that layer for a second, is that the background here is warm on the left-hand side, almost orangish. Right-hand side is kind of blues. It's cooler on the right-hand side. So it's warm left and cool on the right-hand side. And I want to exaggerate that with the gradient map. So go back into our map here. We'll click on the first icon, the thumbnail, and then click on the gradient itself. It brings up the editor. And you want that one right here. And I'll leave this at the default setting, which actually is putting the purples over here and then the oranges over there. That's fine. Choose OK. And there we go. So there's our gradient. Now, yeah, it looks interesting, but it looks fake. 
and I don't want to have a fake look. So we're going to be blending this into the layer underneath using a blend mode. And that's right up here. At the blend mode, just click on one of these. You can then use the wheel on your mouse to roll down and try different looks. There's a lot of interesting things you can do in here. The one I want, though, is the overlay right there. And that combines that gradient with that background. Now it's too strong, so I want to tone that down. And you do that by bringing down the opacity of that layer. That's right up here. I'm just going to type this in and set this at 50%, about halfway down. And there we go. So here it is without. And here it is with. We just added in a lot more color, but the colors are in the same kind of range that the colors are already happening in there. Now, one problem with this is that the background before was cooler and her face is cooler. I'm going to bring that back in. Now the background is warmer, yet she's cooler, so she doesn't match as well in the picture. So I want to warm her up a little bit. That's back up on the foreground layer up here, our subject layer. And for this, another adjustment layer. Go up to Layer. Come down to New Adjustment Layer right here and go to Photo Filter. And again, use Previous Layer right there. Just check that checkbox. Choose OK. Now the default one, the first one you see here is the Warming Filter 85. And that happens to be exactly what I want. And it's already looking better, but I think we can go higher on this one. I'm going to take it up to 35% in here. And that's good. She now matches the background much better. So here's before and here's after. If you really want to learn how to use Photoshop Elements, the best way is with my Photoshop Elements training course. And again, I have a link for that right down there in the, the description. I have both online and DVD versions. You'll find those links down below. Make sure you hit that like button, click on subscribe, and I'll see you next time.